Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel, you're watching Wimmings 2 of the Tribes, and if you pay attention to the comments in these videos, then you will know that last time we suffered what I would call a, uh, um, <laughs> mildly devastating boo-boo. <laughs> uh, so what I did was I, uh, I went right into the game, did not load my save, played and recorded my levels like I usually do, and then saved over, which erased everything. So I had to go back through and recover my place. And uh, let's just go back real quick to the map for just a second. Just to, just to prove that everything is hunky-dory now. Uh, an eagle-eyed viewer, name of Conquer87, noticed that the uh, medallion pieces that I had collected did not float toward the center. But now they're floating toward the center. Everything is as it should be. And yes, it took a good bit of... It took a good bit of time to recover that stuff, but luckily I had a, a day off and I had the time and I had the inclination, as I always say. So, uh, so yeah, we made it. We made it. So everything is good. I have two saves now in case, in case my adulpated brain does that again. So here we are on uh, level four, which is Danger Thin Ice. We, yeah, we are. We've been on thin ice lately, so we've got uh, we got lots of skater. We got skaters and skiers, and uh, I noticed last time when I replayed uh, one of the earlier levels that they even had a snowball thrower that I somehow failed to notice, but which didn't come in handy at all. So in the end, it didn't really matter, as Lincoln Park once said. So let's go ahead and skate and ski our way through through the dangerous thin ice. Why don't we? All right, we are back on track. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so we're just walking down. So I think skiing is probably going to be some kind of fancy trick thing where we go shloop right up into here. Although I don't see what that does for us really. Um, we got some little half pipe tricksies right here. So where are we going? We're just going all the way down to here. So we're gonna have to get way ahead. So let's see if uh, let's see if skiing gets us ahead of the pack here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, nice and uh, woohoo! All right, very nice. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and uh, huh? I wonder if I wonder if it would behoove us to uh, so they go down there, they go into there, and eventually looks like uh, looks like they just kind of make their way into a into a situation zone. Uh, which is fine, I guess. Nothing, nothing really doing there. The the terrain is situated to be really easy to navigate, it would seem. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fill up. This is really just uh, fillers, it looks like. What's the what's the problem here? All right, so go ahead and uh, make your way on out, Mr. Man. Everybody gets out through here. Ah, I see. I see the patch of ice. That's where the danger lies. Okay. All right. So how are we going to avoid that then? There's no real, no real digging to be implemented here. So we want to maybe get them on the road to somewhere else, like right here. Okay. So if they go out to the right, then. They go out to the right, they're gonna go in here, and once they come out here, they're all gonna slip on the ice. And there's gonna be some kind of a failure state involved. So I'm gonna go ahead and... There's not much in the way of digging tools. This may be salvageable, but now that I see the patch of ice, the patch of ice is the complicating mechanic here. So, yeah, it's not just... It's not just fill it up, get them out. Okay, it, it almost looked really easy, but... Okay, so let's try... All right, let's try something here. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I, may have, I may have made this a little tougher on myself, but that's quite all right. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, platform across. Beep, beep, and it's too low. Wouldn't you know it, it's too gosh darn low. Okay, so I only have a few minutes to do this, so, alright, does that make that navigatable? It may, it may not, 
may have needed to do it from higher up. We'll see. I see one little pixel he may not walk up onto. Yeah, that's not walkable still. Man, you really got to get it. You really got to get it good to, to make things walkable in this game. All right, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to try something. This is probably going to be semi-devastating. Oh, yeah. Need to make him a skater. Okay, you need to go the other way, though. I let you go the wrong way. I am wasting a lot of time here. But really, aren't we all wasting a lot of time here when you think about it? Think about it. So, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start blowing through here. Okay, they are unaffected up there, that's fine. Okay, so I think this should be workable if I, uh... Okay, he's gonna get stunned. But yeah, I think that's reasonable enough. Go ahead and blow through the, uh, go ahead and blow through here with a bazooka. Oh, okay. Hey, that's also nice. The turning around is not so great. Um, oh, they're still going to go on top of that, though. I'm not actually materially doing anything to the ice. Although there is a way to, there is a way to, uh, prevent that too, I guess. Okay, so we're going to keep doing this. This could run us up on time a fair bit, so I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start filling up our little hole here now. Okay, I should be about two bazookas away from finishing this. Okay, so now, now I just have to make one well placed shot. I'm gonna start filling this up. All right. Uh, maybe not filling it up yet. Actually, would be great. Okay, so I have to shoot from the right spot, or else I'm probably going to run out of time. So, hmm, this is going to get this is going to get tricky. But I think if I shoot from the peak here, yes. Okay, yeah, that's exactly what I want. So I need to start. I really need to start filling to get them out of here. One more. Yeah, I need to start. I need to start kicking it up. Kicking it up a notch. Several notches. Get out of there, guys. Okay, there we go. Okay. So, one more bazooka. But this is where things are going to get wild. And where I may have uh, ultimately failed. I think I took too long to do this. Uh, I think I'm going to end up blowing Lemmings off the screen by doing this. Oh, no. Everybody's fine. Well, except the skaters. Uh, but that's what we have skaters for. Just, why don't y'all skate right off the ice? There we go. Okay. And then, oh, oops. Oops, I didn't handle this. <laughs> well, we were going to run out of time, but I made a right proper hash of it anyway. So, might as well fix this up and do it up nice-like. All right, we're still going to make a skier at the beginning. And then, that guy is going to stack when he gets here. Because it's going to be a lot easier to get these lemmings out of here than it is to get them out of here. We can avoid the ice altogether, I think, by coming here. Because if I put a stacker right here, he goes here and stacks. And then they all, when you fill it up, they all go out to the right, go bump here and down to here. So if I can get one guy going now. All right, let's go ahead and make a stacker. Let's see if he'll walk over. Okay, one walks over. That's kind of nice. Okay. And I'm just going to have him... I'm just going to have him bazooka himself. There we go. <laughs> that works nicely. And then I can make him a skater. There we go. Okay, so that one does the work. Okay, so they all pile into the... They all cram into here now. Okay, so now all I have to do is just build a platform here. Bazooka it up. And yeah, this level was actually pretty easy. Uh, way easier than I was making it anyway. But it just, you know, you, you go with things... You go with things, you see how they work, and then uh, when they don't work, you think maybe that's not the way. You go find the easier way. Okay, and then pow! There we go. Okay, everybody should be safe and sound, so we should be able to fill this up and get them out of here now. How many fillers are it going to take? Two? Okay. Well, we have 15, so I think we're uh, I think we're good for fillers. I think we can. Uh, I think, I think we're perfectly capable of filling up a hole, and it looks like the last one is out just now. Very good. Not even so much as a, as a stun fall. Very nice. Well, let's go ahead and fast forward and get them out of here, then. Uh, we've wasted quite enough time on 
what turned out to be a pretty simple level. So <laughs> let's move on, shall we? That one was uh, that one was not too bad. I enjoyed that one a fair bit. That was that was very well set up. I liked the little walls that they made so that nobody was walking off screen. That would have made it uh, a fair sight harder. I do believe. So now we're moving on to what is the halfway point of the Polar Tribe. Already there. Wow. Seems like we reach halfway points so fast. Take your best shot. Oh boy, we're going to be shooting. That's fantastic. That's always great. Yeah, we got bazookas and mortars. Oh boy. And bombers. Uh, we got one jumper. That seems to me to be the most important thing since there's only one of it. So here we go. Hit me with your best shot fire away wasn't that uh wasn't that the name of two consecutive levels in some game was it chips challenge too i can't remember. i don't know so let's see where do they go where do they go oh boy okay so we're going to be huh oh we also have ropers where is the exit is it up the mountain it is not oh wow boy it is wow it is really out there though so we're going to be scooping our way to the... Okay, we can probably... Well... Wow, this is... That is a complicated exit to get to. That's... Maybe we should be making our way up here so that we can scoop down into the mountain. Scoop again. Scoop down to the right. Scoop down to the left. Well, then what does that get us? We only have three scoopers, right? Yeah, we only have three scoopers. Well, we could bomb at that point. Um, yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be a kind of dicey run, but we'll see what happens. The main thing is going to be, I think, holding everybody in, which I think I see a place where I can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot to here. All right, so that gets everybody into a safe place, at least. Uh, which is uh, fairly easily navigable. So, okay. What do we want to do then? How do we want to go about this? Um, let's go ahead and... Oh boy. I think we want to get up into... I think we want to get up here. We have seven ropers. We can make quite a bridge. I think the, I think the best idea is going to be... Yeah, to go along the top row here, and then down along in maybe some creative use of bombers and mortars and bazookas for bashing. We have fencers too. Fencers, I'm, I'm going to plan to use a fencer to get them out of here. But I think we can maybe use explosives to move downward and preserve our uh, scoopers. Preserve our scoopers for like real quality jobs, like here and here. So, yeah, there's lots of ways to do this. It's going to be pretty jank, but I think we can work it out just fine. So, we're going to go ahead. Yeah, there's our one jumper. Our jumper is going to... Yep. Yeah, there we go. All right. So, we're going to we're gonna attach some tinsel to this Christmas tree. And then, let's see. All right. Very good. Yeah, and then let's keep going up to, like, here. Yeah. Oh, man, this is going beautifully so far. So now, all right, so four. We only have four left. Three. Oh, yeah. Penguin is background, so penguin's a background detail. So we're going to go to here and then zoop along to here. I think we have a pretty solid path worked out. That worked better than it probably should have, actually. Okay, so I am going to use one scooper here. I'm going to go ahead and scoop at the top of the mountain, or near it. Boy, I like this. This is a nice little scene right here, actually. This is very scenic. The Polar Tribe is really nice. I was not expecting much from snow terrain, if I'm being perfectly honest. But, uh, okay, so now we're going to be... It does look nice, though. The snow does look a little gritty, but... You know, that's just that's just old DOS pixelation. What are you going to do about it? So we have three explosives. How... How are we going to fare explosively with our explosive explosives? Alright, go ahead and pop through there. Maybe another one. Okay. And then downward one. Okay, digging is going to be quite the... Quite the... Okay. 
There we go. Maybe go down a little more. Okay, and then another one. And we only have one mortar, which I want to put up against here. Oh, this is going to be very difficult. That did not do much at all, actually. So our explosives are running out. Did I get did I get pixely enough in there for him to fall into there? I hope so. <laughs> yes. Okay. So this level is uh, so we can probably consider at this point this level beaten. Uh, I can go ahead and free everybody. Wow, that moved really quickly. Now I just have to fence out properly. I hope I can. Yeah. There we go. Excellent. So hopefully. Okay. Good. Yeah. Now I just go from here and one more scoop. Boy, ooh boy, you talk about cutting it fine. Wow, I can't believe this game gave me a break for once. That's uh, that's pretty impressive all on its own. But yeah, we made a fairly quick path out of here. I'm, I'm actually amazed at how easily this level went. It makes me inclined to cram in one more. Let's go ahead and fast forward to the end. All right. That might put us uh, that might put us in a bit of a spot time wise, but you know what? Y'all deserve y'all deserve extra for for all the for all the nice things you do. You know, I've always said I don't have the most fans, but I do have the best ones. And uh, thanks to that uh, eagle-eyed cleanup, uh, we were able to catch the we were able to catch the mistake that I made early, and now we're just right back to recording like nothing ever happened. And uh, and I love it. I absolutely love it. I love doing this, you know. I love doing this just for the fun of it. And so, yeah, we're going to go on and we're going to do one more level today. And that level is going to be turn back. Come on, pull up, Tink. Let's go. Six minutes with uh, uh, not much of any given thing. But, oh, uh, yeah, we have the thrower here. Maybe that will come in handy this time. We got Well, we have an attractor and we only have one. So we know that's going to come in handy. One attractor, ten jumpers. So I'm going to be using multiple jumpers to get away from... So this is a pretty steep mountain we've got here. And no skiing to be done. Okay. So, okay. The mountain drops off 90 degree incline at one point. Where is the exit? Exit is... Oh, my. Wow. Okay. So we're going... We're going clubbing here. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see how we can... Let's see how we can do this do we have a stacker or anything anything that would uh you have a platformer i like that so yeah i see a path i see a path and i think it's going to be through the mountain and we should have ample time to do it we have two well hold on we only have one stomper that is a problem uh maybe not well yeah it is a problem so <laughs> How many platformers? Three. Okay. One, two. Any ropes? Not that I'm seeing. What does a thrower do for you? Like, uh, I don't understand how the thrower is supposed to be helpful. We've got a, we've got a piece of land out here. We've got the, the floating island in the sky. We need the wing cap for that first, though. But uh, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, it's pretty obviously asking me to do the attractor biz. How many? Hey, I got it actually perfect. First try. Oh boy. Okay, so. So, I kind of want to. I feel very inclined to kind of cheat it. Do I have any explosives? No, I only have one stopper. So, digging through here would not be ideal. Because some people would go left, some people would go right. And. Yeah, if. Yeah, I just, I don't see it. I don't see it working. Unless I really fudged it. Um, but yeah, I don't see it actually working, unfortunately. Unless I just, unless I were to like lob a snowball, like, and it landed right here. But I'd have to get down here to do that. Um... I don't think I'm capable of doing that. So am I really going to have to go under the bottom? That's that's a proposition. So let's, uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so we have... So the idea, theoretically, might be to go one, two... 
No, there's just not enough platformers to go across the bottom here. Unless there is... Aha, wait, 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 wait. I don't think two platformers can get across here, but maybe I'm underestimating platformers. Um, well, he's going on his way. He's just going down the mountain, so we have three platformers here. Um, how do we want to handle this? Yeah, you would think you go over here, maybe, one, two... Yeah, there's just not enough platforming action to make it happen. Well, one... If two platformers work, then maybe I can get down around the way here. But I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and platform it here. So that what happens is... Okay. So we have... So we can club bash now. We can go through the mountain. Alright. And then we'll get on the other side of Mr. Snow Lemming here. Alright, go ahead and stomp down. That may be... Alright, okay. Um... Boy, I am not... I am not confident that two... That two platformers can reach over there. How would I... How would I turn them around, then? Um... Well... Oh, well, that's not gonna do it anyway. Yeah, two platformers is not gonna do it. So maybe what I need to do is... Maybe what I need to do is stomp in the hole here. You know what? I bet I can fudge this. I just bet. So if I get low enough... I don't have any explosives, though. That's the problem. If I get low enough... I think I can achieve this, actually. Okay, so... We're gonna go ahead and make the fifth one an attractor, so that only the... Okay. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so now... Now I'm going to stomp through here. Alright. I'm gonna stomp, but I have to stop myself at a point, because I'm going to the right. And I'm gonna do that by filling up. Oh, no, no, no. I've just made a big old mess. That's the, okay, that was too deep. Maybe I can maybe I can turn myself around by jumping into that little by bopping into that little thing. So, once again, five limbs. 1 2 3 4 5. So, you're blowing your little alpine horn there. That's cute. <laughs> okay, so, yes. All right. The better way to do this probably would be to can I, uh, can I just bop into this and turn around? No. Can't, can't do that. How am I going to do, how am I going to turn myself? Because what I want to do is kind of maybe like stomp down far enough and then stomp down, fill. Filling might, might raise the elevation too much though. Because I want to get to, there's a little pixel over here. It's very high. But if I can get to it, maybe I'm trying to maybe I'm trying too hard to cheese this. I can't really say for certain. There is a way. <laughs> okay, so that should be only a stun fall at most. And I have all three of my platformers for use over here. So I'm going to get really cozy with them. <laughs> there we go. All right. All right, there we go. Almost missed it because I was too busy congratulating myself. I'm going to go ahead. Well, I'm going to wait till the third one starts. There we go. And. Three, two, one, boom. There we go. Now we can free the attractor of his obligations. You can stop yodeling now. Oh, wow. And that was just in time for the last one to come out. That's excellent. Okay. So all you got to do is just uh, 
Yeah, use those, uh, there we go, yeah, use those, uh, stalactites to your advantage. There we go. See, stalactite is the one that attaches to the ceiling, because stalactite has a C in it. And so you remember that that's the ceiling, so whereas stalagmites are on the ground, and that has a G in it. That's how I always taught, was taught to remember it. But there we go. That one, uh, that one, all right, yeah. I feel like I, I feel like I did a, I feel like I may have broken that one. Although that may be the intended solution. Uh, you never really know with this game. The levels are so open-ended, which I think is a real achievement with this game, actually. It's, it's so open-ended. Like, there's so many ways to do the levels. And you, when you think of puzzle games like this, you think, okay, I gotta find the solution. But one thing they did really well with this game, I think, was made it to where, you know, there's lots of ways to do a level, uh, whether intended or not. And, you know, that's harder to do than you realize. That's something you really have to be intentionally striving for. And I think... I think they did a really good job of it. And I think we did a really good job of it here today. So here we are back on track. Lemmings 2 continuing unabated. I'll see you guys next time.